Hello, water signs. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is the Water Signs Tarot Reading for August 2024. So that just means if you are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, then this is going to be your general tarot reading for August 2024. So just take whatever resonates with you. All right. So the main card in the middle here is moving on. So it's possible that you're walking away from something that is no longer serving you in the month of August. Let's see what else we have here. The rest and rejuvenate card is next to the waiting game. All right. And over here we have choose wisely and we have truth all right so it looks like leading up to this point um you had been kind of i feel like there with that waiting game next to the rest and rejuvenate there was this period of time that you weren't real sure which way you wanted to go in a certain situation. But now after a certain amount of time has passed, it's like you've made this choice to just move forward and move on, right? But now as you're moving on in the month of August from a certain situation that is no longer serving you, now this could be a relationship, it could just be a situation, whatever it is for you, right? But as you move forward, you are going to want to be sure that you're making the correct choices and that your wherever it is you're moving towards is the choice that is more connected with your inner truth, right? So I do feel like there is definitely a moving on taking place, but you still have this um, these certain choices that you have to make along the way as you move forward. And... Um, with that being next to the truth card, I just feel like it's almost like a warning to make sure any choices that you make as you move forward are in alignment with your truth. Okay, water signs. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the Rider weight deck a few times and we'll get a little clarity on this reading for you, water signs. All right, so yeah, we have the three of swords reversed. So this moving on is something that maybe in the past had been something that was heartbreaking to you, to be honest. But as you move forward, I see that you're not feeling as much of that heartache as you maybe had in the past. I feel like your heart is finally coming to terms with this change that has to be made in direction, right? So in whatever new choice you have coming, whatever you're moving on from, I feel like your heart is healing in the process as well. We have the seven of wands reversed. And I do feel like, I feel like in a certain sense, you have felt as though it's kind of like you against the world in a certain situation. But again, this one being reversed, I feel like you just, you have more support than you usually feel that you have regarding this change. And look at that. We also have the seven of swords reversed. So I also feel like it is possible that I'm getting the sense that you're just kind of tired of sneaking around, right? You're tired of always having to defend yourself in your thinking in a certain situation. And that could be part of this moving on as well. All right. And then we have the two of pentacles. Again, it's about making the right choices to create balance and harmony in your life. All right. So again, with the choose wisely and the two of pentacles, it's going to be important as you move forward out of this um, past time, um, as you move into the future to align with the choices that are going to bring more balance into your life, right? So that could be a balance of emotions, intellect, um, whatever. But 
there is a need for balance in your life. And that balance is going to be achieved based on the actual choices that you're making as you move forward and how um, how you're making these choices in alignment with your truth. All right, water signs. Now let's see what the queen of the moon oracle has for you. We're just going to see what advice comes out of this deck for you, water signs. All right, so the advice card is to have boundaries. So as you move forward, move on from what is no longer serving you, it's going to be important for you, water signs, to create a strong boundary. So these boundaries that you would create for yourself are not really to keep people out necessarily, but it's about self-protection and preservation. So... As you create boundaries with people, places, and things that are no longer serving you, just know that it's not to keep people out of your life or anything like that. That's not what this advice is saying, but it is asking you to be sure to create this boundary so that you know when you're crossing your own line and when you're not, right? So these boundaries that you have to create, they're really for yourself and to keep yourself really aligned with your truth. Because if you know what it is that you want out of your life, it's going to be easier to choose balance and harmony if you have a strong boundary regarding how you are going to achieve that. So your advice is definitely going to be to have boundaries against these other, you know, situations in life that may come and go. And just know when to make choices for or against things, right? All right, water signs. I'm going to shuffle the wisdom of the oracle deck now. I'm just going to shuffle three times, cut the deck, and draw three cards as the final message for you, water signs, for August 2024. All right, so first we have a change in the wind, of course. Um, This is all about a change in direction, creating something new based on, you know, just changing your mind, changing the way you're thinking about something. All right, next we have to the sea. And notice she's just on her own little boat. She has the um, direction here. She has the binoculars. Similar to this weather main up here as well. So I definitely feel like with the to the sea card, as you make these changes in your life, it's going to be important to just, it's going to be very important for you to follow the direction that your heart chooses, right? To not really include everyone else in your decision making as you're moving forward. You know, I mean, she's all alone in this little boat, but it seems as though she's prepared to go in whatever direction it is that she wants to go, right? So this is about having control in the direction of your life based on your inner truth. And we have unfinished symphony. So in some ways you feel like there's a certain part of your life that is still unfinished, Something that you still have to perfect and um, build upon, really. So, with that unfinished symphony card, I do feel like you're definitely going to be making choices and changes in direction of your life, leading towards what it is your truth is based on your own self. She's sitting on this egg, and the egg has like a face inside of it. I feel like this is almost the, what it is you want to create of yourself, right? And so I just feel like it's almost like a new beginning, but it's a way for you to step into the role and step into the truth that you want to step into in your life. 
So with a change in the wind and unfinished symphony on the other side, I just feel like as you move towards the direction you feel your life needs to be going, you're going to be perfecting yourself in certain ways as well. And it's really going to feel like a beautiful coming together of things similar to a symphony, right? So I do feel like August is going to be a great month as long as you choose wisely and follow your heart and truth, okay? So it's no longer about waiting around for something to happen. Now it's about making the choice and stepping into those changes. Stepping into your decisions and what it is that you want to do from moving forward. Because you're coming out of the darkness and into the light here. So I definitely feel like it's going to be a really good month for you water signs. As long as you stay aligned with your truth in the month of August. All right, water signs. Please let me know in the comments down below if this reading resonates with you. And don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber... I would love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can turn on the notifications bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.